Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? Alright, what we're going to do for today is we're going to open up one of um, our most recent uh, awesome uh, modules. And that is right now at the moment called Glitcho Mode. And um, we're just going to work on some drums for today. Um, and, you know, I don't know what the tempo of it is going to be. I don't know what the sounds of it are going to be. But I, in general, I just want to, you know, possibly have some, you know, just different, like, sounds, different, like, um, you know, tracks that I can use, little bits of music just kind of lying around for little clips or segues or, you know, possibly a new... Uh, theme song if we have something that's cooler you know but essentially you know all the all the feedback I've ever got about the feet the theme song is that it's it's uh, not long enough you know that it, it could it could be a lot longer you know like um, possibly I don't know um, you know another one minute or two minutes maybe you know and i agree you know it's it's kind of short um you know so you know maybe we'll look at doing something like that who knows but um i know for sure we're not going to use these same exact sounds we're not going to use the same exact randomization parameters um i am going to go ahead and right click to clear the matrix If that's what I can do, let's see, fun switches, click and drag to turn on or off, right click to clear the matrix. So we probably need to just clear it manually and that's fine as you can see I'm just kind of clicking and dragging so it's actually very easy to erase you know so to speak basically just holding down with my mouse and uh, erasing all of the all the strikes um, but yeah, I want to create something new. I want to use some new sounds. I want to use some new, uh, patterns, uh, but in this same kind of territory. And then there's also, um, I, th I think I'm going to double check, but I think there's a drum module in the Euro react library that we may want to incorporate possibly. We'll see. Um, you know, there's no, not anything occupying this fourth slot, so it would be an interesting, interesting thing to look at. But, um, let's, how can I, like, easily, it says, oh no, that's a, that must be like a randomizer. This must be what that is. So... Ah, that's how you do it. Ah, good to know. Okay, so one, right-click on any one of the pads it looks like, you know, whether it's filled in or not filled in, and it clears the entire 
uh, routing matrix. So that's um, definitely cool because we're going to want to set up some different patterns again that we can trigger. But um, being able to start fresh is good. So, okay, cool. Now, um, let's find out. First, let's start just playing. We know it's going to play this first pattern. Uh, and let's figure out what we want our kick to sound like, about how fast we want it to go. And I'm going to just set it to uh, number one for now. I think this will hopefully stay on number one. If we keep random gates at a min max of one, then this shouldn't randomize this uh, buttons uh, module anymore. So we'll just keep that loaded. <clears throat> Let's find a kick that we like for today. Okay, so up to 20, all right. I like six. Possibly. Eight's pretty harsh. I don't want anything with a real thick beater. What kind of a softer beater? So far I like six and I think I like ten. Yeah, ten's not bad. Nope on eleven. Nope on twelve. Uh, 13 is not bad. Maybe it's a little sharp, but... All right, let's pick between 6 and 10. I like 6. I like 10. I like 10. Huh. All right. Uh, I like it. Not bad. Um, let's pick a snare that we like. Um, so let's get a feel.
All right, I'm not in love with that snare, so let's choose a different snare. For now, let's kill this uh, select.
I think we have what we need here in terms of a uh, pretty badass, pretty badass little drum thing. Until next time.